Okay, hey, how's it going? I found a way to get to news transcripts, and I wanted to share it with you via video because it's a really complex and non-intuitive thing. If you want to meet with me, I'm happy to do so. One caveat that I want to um, deliver before I start out, though, is that the, the data from the Television News Archive that you found, here's an example right here from the Vanderbilt Television News Archive, I, in my searches, doesn't necessarily mean that the, it won't work this way for you, but in my searches, I couldn't tie the metadata of this particular instance to a matching transcript in the LexisNexis that I'm about to show you. That doesn't mean it can't be done. It doesn't mean that they don't match, but we'll, we'll talk about that as we go. So follow along with me and see if this isn't something that you can actually use not having all the information at this point, maybe this is something that you can transfer to as a strategy to find the things that you're looking for for your meta search. And suddenly I have an email show up, so ignore that. Okay, so research databases. One that you had looked at was Factiva. This is about the other one called LexisNexis. Both of them have advertising of, of transcripts in their availability, but we couldn't track it down in the LexisNexis one. That was really weird. And it took me a long time. I had conversations with many different people to find this out. LexisNexis Academic. Once you get in, I noticed in the search results, in the facets off on the side after you get search results, there was something called news transcripts. How did we get there? And I couldn't figure it out. And then I discovered that somebody had listed it. I think it was University of North Carolina Libraries had listed transcripts as one of the hot topics. But there's none right here. And in a non-intuitive way, you actually have to go up here to go by topic. And they don't even use the same language. So we go from hot topics to topic. So I don't know what's going on here. Communication breakdown, possibly. My learning disability, possibly that as well. But right here, one of the categories is broadcast transcripts. When you click on that, watch right here. And all of a sudden, the context of everything that we're searching for is a broadcast transcript. But there's a whole bunch of different networks and there's a whole bunch of date ranges. How do we get around that? In the advanced options, you can go by date. Um, I'm not gonna go into this one, but down here you can see that the big three networks are gonna show up here in addition to other ones. So for my example that I'm gonna show you, we're just gonna look at ABC News. The interesting thing is the transcripts metadata Sometimes they refer to it as ABC News, sometimes ABC Nightly News, sometimes World News. So that's a variable that you might look at when you're examining how the difference between what they say is in there and then actually what they call it. Um, the date. There's a little bit of a trick to the date. When you want to go back to the 1980s, when you click on the, the from and to, if, if you click on the calendar, you're going to go, oh, they have 2016, and then you go back, and then all of a sudden, oh, no, it only goes back to 1986. If you click on it again, all of a sudden it goes farther back. I don't know why it does that, but I made that neat little discovery. Um, so, for example, we wanted to find ABC News in the early 80s. I found that working with a date range was better than trying to nail it down to that one specific date, because there's not a lot in that area. If you click on some arbitrary date, it will dump it in there, and you can cut and paste, or you can go through that same process. And so I'm just going to change the last one to 1985. So got my date range, got my news context. If you click Apply, then you can see what you're searching for shows up right here. But if we just do education and salary, it's going to be searching inside of that moment. And Lexis, the content of LexisNexis is so huge that if you get into these granular um, little buckets of narrowing it down, it really helps. Now, all of a sudden, we discover, much to my consternation, that sometimes the transcripts have a really meaningful title, but a lot of times the title itself is ABC News Transcripts. So searching with um, trying to throw in the proper keywords back in the pre-automated era when everything was made in uh, Microsoft Word, you kind of got to pour through these and see what you get. So I'm guessing it's searching full text. 
Sometimes the broadcaster is going to show up or the reporter. Um, sometimes our metadata is less specific. <laughs> they just throw in the gender of the person the, who they thought it was. At any rate, that's what you get. And you can see my keywords pop up. I tried searching for like Sam Donaldson and I tried searching for some of the other names in here, like Federal Commission, United States. I ended up just looking at education and salary because there was only that few search results. Try going through this and seeing if this doesn't hit the, the things that you need, what you're looking for when you're doing your um, search. And let me know how it goes. You can get into a vast number of transcripts with this. It's just amazing. Uh, but your results may vary, and if you get frustrated, give me a call, send me an email, and I'm happy to help out. But this was a real gold mine for me. And I, again, a thanks to UNC Libraries for having the, a great campus guide. And I'm going to update ours as well.